South Africa's west coast has a rich marine life with a fishing community that still employs traditional fishing techniques when catching delicacies like rock lobster. But this high value species could be under threat because the seas that were once blue are now red as a result of the red tide that has struck this coastline. Fisheries officials are monitoring a 200 kilometer stretch of coast as the red tide begins to accumulate and spread rapidly in the ocean. The Department of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries has dispatched um, a team of scientists to assess the extent and the scope of the red tide and also to do some tests on the oxygen levels in the water. It's very, very difficult to say how bad it might get, um, but um, because each and every algal bloom has its own course, um, we are planning for the worst case scenario and um, we have um, put in place everything and everyone that needs to help us mitigate the consequences of this algal bloom. The drop in oxygen levels has already led to some marine life washing up shore, leaving environmental workers with a huge task of cleaning up. It's an important task though because this marine phenomenon makes lobster a potentially deadly meal to eat. This dinoflagellate that causes um, paralytic um, selfish poisoning and for that reason we are cautioning all South Africans or people in this area not to collect any um, selfish um, marine um, resources because they might um, suffer the fatal consequences of even death um, if they do consume it. Lobster caught by these fishermen fetch a high price on the export market, but that now hangs in the balance along with their livelihoods if the sea conditions worsen substantially. It's affecting the fishermen, yeah, because you're not getting every day, like you, you're not getting every day usually, but it's, uh, it's more or less than you're getting today. Tomorrow maybe it would be better, but it's more or less tomorrow also. Most of the companies want to have live crayfish and you know and that is a better price for us you know when you get a uh, dead crayfish you haven't got that kind of money you know at this stage scientists believe that oxygen levels remain at an acceptable level for now and are putting emergency measures in place merely as a safety measure it was back in 2002 that this coastline suffered a similar outbreak of red tide Back then, over 2,200 tons of West Coast rock lobster literally crawled out of the water because of a lack of oxygen and died. Now, it's a situation the fishing industry hopes will certainly not repeat itself. That was Andrew, CCTV, Elansby.